Howdy folks, I'm Garrett, and this is You Got This. So welcome back to another episode. Uh, this one will hopefully be kind of short and sweet. I want to talk about one of the most, you know, you might think about it ahead of time, but I had no idea, and that's sweat. When you're working with a prosthetic leg, this is rubber. It doesn't breathe. Um, there's some uh, options and technology out there uh, that are breathable, uh, but there's, you know, with anything, there's trade offs, there's pros and cons. You gain some breathability, you lose some support or other things. Um, regardless, while your liner and socket may breathe or um, give you a little comfort, at the end of the day, you can't stop the sweat. Like, it's just a problem and a challenge. Uh, if you live in a warmer climate, it can be even worse of a problem. Um, because while your liner is attached to your socket, which is good, if you're sweating and this is slippery, your whole liner will just come off. Um, and so you'll notice this liner's kind of short. It's actually a temp temporary liner um, while they're working on getting me the real liners for my new leg. Uh, but ideally, the higher up your liner goes, it's kind of a trade-off. The higher it is, the more surface area and connection it has to your body, the more likely it is to stay on. The higher up it goes, the hotter it's going to be. So it's a tough balance. Um, somewhat ironically or confusingly to me, uh, if you're going to be doing like a long run or a workout, unfortunately, you want it to be higher. Um, so that you have that surface area and that connection to your leg to help it stay on. Um, you get hotter, there's no way around it. Um, you just do and you kind of got to deal with it. Uh, when I come back from a, a long mountain bike ride, uh, a run or whatever, when I take my liner off, um, you know, sorry if this is gross, but it's true. Uh, and I'll let the truth out here for people. Uh, I'll dump a quarter a cup of water, sweat, out of my liner, um, you know, before I realized that, like I'd take it off, you know, I'd be sitting here and take it off and just be this big puddle on the carpet. Um, you know, so eventually you learn, you know to anticipate it, um, but it's just part of the deal. Um, and sure enough, I didn't grab them. Let's see here. Ooh. So the First and simplest way, uh, and my preferred way, is to use liner liners. Um, these are basically like socks that go on your residual limb. Um, this one's thinner. These are the ones I wear pretty much every day. Um, because if you don't, uh, even you know, if you're not fully sweating, it's just uncomfortable. The liner kind of, it gets air bubbles and just doesn't feel good. Um, don't love it. These are uh, a little thicker and they're by a company called Swiftwick. Um, and they're really nice and soft. The uh, elastic around here, uh, you know, it doesn't stretch as easily. Uh, so you can sometimes, you know, kind of, not quite cut off circulations, but it's a tighter fit. So I'll only wear these if I'm working out and I'm really gonna have my blood pumping um, and need that extra sweat wicking. Uh, and I'll usually, uh, wear both if I'm doing something like that. I'll wear this one underneath and this one over the top. And I find that usually gets the job done um, pretty well. Uh, beyond that, uh, you know, there's kind of your standard options uh, and, and really, you know, you know your skin best. Um, you want to talk to your prosthetist, your doctor, uh, get advice from them. So, you know, maybe try these things if you know you've had luck with them or, you, you know, they help, uh, you know, awesome. But so there's Cert and Dry, uh, which is prescription strength deodorant. Uh, it works. The downside to stuff like this is you basically kind of have to put it on your limb and then just sit there and let it dry uh, so that it does its job. Because if you put on your socks and stuff while it's still wet, uh, it won't work as well. So you kind of have to be patient uh, with this. Uh, similarly, 
Um, this is a company called Alps. They make a lot of prosthetic solutions. And this is just an antiperspirant spray. So again, you kind of have to let it dry. Uh, so you have to be patient, but it can help. Um, there's also things, um, this can help with like chafing. Uh, this is Body Glide. Uh, baby powder, I don't so much use, um, but you know, if, if it's something that's helped you, um, you know, you know you have some, uh, that can be good. Uh, on the other hand, so there's sweat, and controlling sweat is a big deal. After you've been sweating, after you beat your leg up, running, bike riding, whatever it is, your leg can be in pain. Um, there's everything from ingrown hairs um, to just general like skin irritation or blisters, uh, and it happens. Uh, usually, unless you're pushing yourself super, super hard, uh, I would say if you listen to your leg or your arm or whatever it is, if it hurts, listen to it. Um, don't push yourself if you don't have to because you'll pay for it. Um, you know, you might get an extra hour of an activity and then be sidelined for two or three days. Uh, there's been times where, you know, if I push myself too hard, usually over the course of a week or two, um, consistently, there will easily be a couple days where I just flat out don't want to wear my leg. Um, so I would say maybe two times a year, uh, something will happen where I'll want to go three days and just barely wear my leg or take it off every chance I get. Um, just kind of the way it is. So for that, and this is only a small sampling, there's a ton of stuff. Um, this is from Alps as well. It's just an ointment, um, kind of like a, a petroleum jelly almost, uh, that has some vitamin A and D and just kind of soothes it and helps moisturize. Uh, so this is a, this is a great one, especially like if my, like I have a lot of problems here, like the end of my distal end of my shin. Um, and it'll like it hurts right now and it'll start getting rough and chapped and stuff like this really really helps um, this is another one uh, and this specifically says it's for sensitive skin and it's hypoallergenic also by Alps and it's a silicone skin lotion so what this can do is help reduce friction and that rubbing that uh, you know just like you would get blisters on your feet it's the same kind of thing when that one spot rubs all day long uh, it'll just tear up your skin. Uh, so stuff like this uh, can help mitigate that. Um, this is another one. I haven't loved this one as much. I got it early on. Um, it's kind of like liquid baby powder. Uh, I feel like I should probably give it another try these days, but uh, it's anti-friction. Um, you know, it's not bad or anything. I've just found that the ointment and the silicone lotion uh, help as well. And this is Amputee Essentials. Um, I'll include some links to this in the store. So, again, like most things uh, about being an amputee, it's complicated. Uh, there's just more to think about, more to do. You gotta take care of your limb and uh, keep it healthy. And yeah, it just gets a little, little more involved. Um, but there's solutions to all of this stuff, right? Like, it's out there. Um, you know, you're gonna go out, you're gonna push yourself, you're gonna beat your leg up some days and it's gonna hurt. And, you know, you go to your staples and uh, you can fix it. Uh, which reminds me, so one more thing, um, usually, so you know, even if you take a shower late at night or whatever, um, I almost never take a shower directly before I get into bed. You know, so even if it's a little before I get into bed, I will have been wearing my leg for an hour or two or whatever. Um, so almost every night when I get into bed, um, I'll put hand sanitizer on my limb um, just to help fight germs, clean it up, um, because you know you can't just stop and take a shower all the time uh, to keep it clean. And so I've found that this really helps reduce a lot of the irritation um, and kill any bacteria that might irritate your skin or get into cuts and that kind of thing. So um, I just stock up on it. I keep it by my bedside, take my leg off, um, you know, I'll, I'll clean my liner and then just Take some antitizer, just rub it on my leg and go to bed. Uh, so skincare, sweat, all this stuff, it's challenging. Um, there's not an easy way around it. 
but don't be surprised when you run into it and uh, just know there's solutions and just like everything else you can adapt and uh, find something that works best for you, for your skin, um, your limb, and uh, you'll manage, you'll be all right. Uh, so that's it for this week. Thanks again. I'm Garrett, and you've got this.